To all those simps out there spending money on OnlyFans, you guys are idiots. No, man. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. There's such a limit, man. The minute you start simping and paying to see naked bodies, dude, you got it. You got a problem. But I will go ahead and I will say this because I told you I'm not just going to take the dude's perspective. I'm going to look at it from both sides. The fact of the matter is the woman has bills that she needs to pay because I feel her. No matter regardless of the situation, we got to pay bills even though we're losing all our jobs. You know what I'm saying? If you have to and don't and don't take the other side because oh y'all are doing it and y'all expect it to be the other way around. You know what I'm saying? If y'all have a dude sitting there flirting with women on purpose to get them to pay for their OnlyFans to show their 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 private part I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a problem with that because you don't want them entertaining no other hoes. That's a known fact. Don't you dare lie to me. And if you wanna sit there and do, do an OnlyFans, that is okay. Just know I have no problem letting a single woman do what she has to do. Simple as that. <laughs> All right, people. It's about that time. Oh boy, all right. This has been a long month, all right? For people who don't know, six months ago, I did the OnlyFans rant, right? Da 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 this, da 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 that, whatever. You've seen the intro. Oh boy. Well, I started thinking to myself, huh, I need to do something edgy on this channel, right? I sat here, I thought about it and everything, because I was like, Anytime I talk, I always feel like, oh, yeah, I'm strictly doing this for the kids and all that mess. And at the end of the day, I felt that that's not healthy because it kind of limits the ways to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? So um, what did I decide to do? OnlyFans has been going crazy all year. And I went crazy on this OnlyFans rant back in May. I thought... The only way we end this year, after I did the OnlyFans rant, <sighs> is to purposely become a simp for 30 days. These last 30 days have been pure hell for me, dog. I had to really sit here, get serious, focus up on really doing this video because I have never put this much effort into a video before. Well... I've never paid to try to make a video better. You know what I'm saying? I felt like if I was going to do this, I, I kind of had to go all out and did some, uh, you know, curiosity wander around. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. If you if you have to put yourself in the mind of a simp, oh my gosh. Yeah, you're going to have to be curious. Even if that means you would pay for stuff that you would never pay for. And I had to literally portray a simp and it was probably one of the worst things I could have did. Honestly, honestly. So uh, I'm going to start this video off right. But first, um, I think it's time to figure out where this originated from. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get into this video. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If y'all ever had one of those little naked smoothies from like the grocery store, oh my gosh, bangers. But um, let's go ahead and look at this. This article is by medium.com. So <clears throat> I'm gonna read it from the writer's perspective. If you have no idea what OnlyFans is, it's basically a platform where creators sell original content, typically of the Punographic variety, we can't say that word or else it would be, uh, you know, demonetized. These creators are mostly influencers, aka generally more attractive people with a bigger social audience. These creators use OnlyFans to sell revealing and risky content. These sites' tagline is make your influence pay because the influencers have using OnlyFans as a way to monetize their influence. I mean, I don't know what showing, you know, 
you know, boobies has anything with influence, but I mean, if it's getting other women to do OnlyFans, I mean, I guess that is influence. Well, these influencers slash creators upload photos and videos that are protected by a paywall. And to gain access to these, a user must pay a monthly subscription fee that ranges anywhere between five and $50, Jesus. Um, the price, of course, depends on the activity that the influencer is doing in that photo or video. I'm gonna talk about that real quick because, yo, I had one of those moments that hurt my soul. All right, so you'll see a lot of them posting bathroom selfies that their parents would have never approve of and even go as far as explicit self-entertainment or explicit baby development activity. Hey, I'm gonna talk about that one part real quick just now. Did anybody else find out about that one YouTuber who decided to post her baby pics on OnlyFans? Dog, whoever that woman is, yo, you're out of pocket, all right? I'm gonna just say that. So, how was this launched? 2016, OnlyFans is launched. OnlyFans was launched in 2016 by a 33-year-old Timothy Stokely. Hey, yo, what? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a 33 year old man created OnlyFans? The OG Sim, are you out of your mind? Oh my God. Man, what are you doing for these women, man? Yeah, you basically created OnlyFans just so you could be like, oh, for all y'all women, here's your chance right here. Wow, so, I mean, shout out because he was looking after them people, but that don't mean he was looking after queens, bro. Don't, bro, oh my, I, I'm shocked. I did not know OnlyFans was created by a man. That is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, first of all, this was made in, U, in the UK? Oh my God, that's like really funny. So, OnlyFans was created like only four years ago. And by a 33-year-old man, I never knew that, man. So, dude, to look at the origin of that, that's actually really incredible. I never knew that. You learn something new every day, right? All right, y'all. So, it's time to uh, describe what I actually did. So, I made my own rules. I decided I was going to um, follow 10, you know, beautiful women or whatever. It so happened that two of the women that I actually decided to follow actually knew me personally. And I was just like, you know what? I'm trying to do this video. Why not? Yeah, cool. Here's take take my seven bucks. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I was going to do it. If it was under 10 bucks, oh, you had me big. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because I knew for a fact they wasn't going to do whatever. But um, so the first week, I actually, I actually went ahead, you know, paid for maybe five. And the only reason why I did five, because you got me out of pocket if you think I'm gonna pay for 10 off the rip. That's gonna be like near 50 bucks. Oh no, out of your mind. So I decided to do that. Um, You know, looked at some pictures, looked at some videos, and you know, I got a lot of information out that first week. Basically what I found out was men actually stand adult stars. I never knew that. I never knew, I like I always, I always heard men talking about, oh yeah, but oh, you you know about, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like everybody knows that you can't get, you know, a breakfast sandwich from Popeyes at 9 a.m. Come on, everybody knows that. But my thing is like, I never knew men stand adult stars. That's, that was mind boggling to me, all right? And I, it was just like, wow, that's insane. So. I just basically went through the motions of looking at it. I only checked it maybe four times, maybe four or five times a week because understand I'm not that wild by uh, adult entertainment. So I don't really like to go that route or whatever, you know, so I, I like to keep it. I like to keep it PG for myself, PG 13, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so I don't, I don't really get wild about Instagram models, but I did actually follow some Instagram models, um, you know, only fans because Screw it right now. You know, you could just get let your curiosity flow for a little bit while you at it. This is a, a entertainment project anyway, so yeah. What I also realized that there's different ways you can actually do OnlyFans. I did not know you can either A, have them subscribe 
for an amount of money and just let them see all the stuff from there. B, you can let them subscribe, but then they will still have to pay for other stuff and unlock. Or C, you can have them pay, have them unlock stuff and didn't do bundles. That that was insane. I said, yo, I said, yo, that's that's nuts. I never I never thought I would see today where people would do like bundles paying for adult entertainment that's one of the that's one of the most like insane things ever this whole like i said this whole experience was like really really just like wow now i see it from a different perspective you know what i'm saying okay so by week two i was in i was almost halfway done but i was just kind of minding my business i didn't really do much uh but i did decide to like you know for the heck of it all right since i'm in the mindset of a simp a simp would pay for a video and it was it's probably one of the dumbest things like imagine paying like 10 bucks just to see like a, a 16 second video yeah i had to force myself to do that i really didn't want to do that but i was like you know what let's let's do it let's do it like like screw it we're, we're going all out with this i wanted to make this a full youtube experience about how you know my my mindset and what I was going through like I said I wasn't even that interested in it like I was just like alright it's there and let me go ahead and go out because uh you know PS5 is life so I just basically was nonchalant about it and then I went ahead and I did a little uh you know middle middle of the project report I did a little middle of the project report while I was at work for people who don't know. I actually work with the Carolina Panthers. So um, here's a video right here of me talking about it. What's up with you guys? This is Kansas Dale City Meach. And you know, I'm just working right now. I'm chilling, minding my business. So in terms of like, you know, this OnlyFans video that I'm doing, I'm on my second week now. My last, my last week starts at the end of the Thanksgiving weekend. And then I'll be done from there. So far, it's kind of stupid. It's, it's pretty stupid. Like, if you want me to be brutally honest, it's probably gonna be one of the dumbest things I've ever done for YouTube. But, uh, it, it's, it's, it's an experience. Y'all gonna see the rest of the video and everything. Well, I'm not going crazy over the mess. I see it and I just leave it alone, you know what I'm saying? Especially since the PS5 came out, man. I'm in my PS5 bag. Why would I, why would I be worried about an OnlyFans regardless? <laughs> but it's like, it's just really crazy. It really is, man. So it's just, it's a process. So, yeah. Okay, so then that happened. But um, I almost felt like I was like half-assing the, the actual project. I felt like I was just going with the motion, not doing too much. So, uh, I took it a step further and, oh my God, it's, it's probably one of the worst things that ever happened to me. I'm t I keep on constantly telling y'all this is the one of the worst things that ever happened to me because I really, I, I'm glad I did it, but it's just like, yo, why? I, that's, that's money I could have had, you know what I'm saying? So, I decided to, um, subscribe to five more women after the second week and so now I'm on the third week. Uh... And I decided, I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm gonna just keep doing that from there. You know, oh, they said they want a request. All right, I'll just type some random request. Cool, do that. And then it'll be like, oh, here it is. Here's, uh, you're gonna need 15 bucks. Oh my God, this one in the list. It was, it was like I had to like, I'm like, oh my God, like, no. And one thing, one thing that was so, oh my gosh it was oh, i think one of the worst things that happened about this experiment was the fact that i had to use my debit card and then you get that and then you get that oh my god you get that embarrassing call from your bank and they're like hey so um we're, we're experiencing some uh change in your payment i'm hearing that you pay for uh only and i'm like Yes, it's it's for a video. Okay, so we're experiencing no burglary, uh, you know, actions happening in this account. Okay, have a nice day. And it's it's probably one of the cringiest things. It's one of the cringiest things. I guarantee you, if you hear anybody else 
talking about OnlyFans or them trying to, you know, do OnlyFans to do some type of experience like how I did, I guarantee you every single one of those people is going to talk about having to use your business card. I, I guarantee you it. I went with the flow, subscribed to like five more women after the second week. So I'm halfway done and I'm just like, oh, I mean, it's, it's here, it's happening or whatever. You know, and this is around the time like dudes were going crazy about like No Nut November. Um, I don't partake in those events, but if I did participate in those events, I would have won. So, whoop whoop. Don't, don't go crazy about me. I'm not perfect, right? Leave me alone. I, I was like looking at one of like a girl I used to work with and you know, I got to see like her stuff and I was just like, oh wow, you know, I guess that's how it looks. <laughs> and I just like, all right, cool. Let's keep it moving. Now, the final week of me doing this, oh my gosh, I did one of the dumbest things ever. I said for this last week, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pay for five videos, right? And I was just like, oh, I'm not doing this. So I said, this one is $10. Screw it. Fine. Here you go. This one is $3, all right, fine, fine. Let's just get that out the way. This one is like $20 and I paid for a video by this one chick and I messed up so bad. Tell me why I did not realize this was a photo. And oh my God, one of the most hurtful experiences ever. I said, oh my God, I just paid 12 for a for a photo. like. And I was just like, I was just like, I have to get off this planet. Why am I doing this? Like I was talking to my friend Desiree about the whole experience and she was just like, yo, this is such, a, this is going to be such a great video. Like, no, and, and I'm pretty sure it is. Cause you know, hearing my experience, you're getting to hear the whole nine about everything. So yeah, I basically, but I'll, also if I haven't clarified, I only subscribe for like 30, you know, for 30 days. So by December 7th, every, everything is, should be gone at this point or actually check that may since it is since i did you know subscribe to five more it should be all gone in like two weeks but you know you get the idea yeah after that i officially ended it last friday and i was officially done and i was just like oh my gosh man thank god i am i'm, I'm done with that it's it was just such a crazy experience and i was just like oh man that was that was one of the cringiest experiences I've ever done. Don't get it twisted. The women are beautiful, but when you when you actually pay on purpose for for a video, it's like, oh my, why am I doing this? Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. We're at the second half of the video. Now we get to rant. All right. So, how do I feel about the stance of OnlyFans six months later? You want me to be honest with y'all? I kind of have a, another newfound respect for certain women. You know what I'm saying? I understand that men sit there and go crazy, you know, and we, we go crazy. We like, bro, if you, if you, if you pay for OnlyFans, bro, you assume, you know, you a simp or whatever. I had to go full full cover mode as a simp. That was, that was one of the worst feelings of my life. But then I started realizing, dude, men simp and stand adult stars, which I, like I said, I never knew. But like, I can't even fault the women anymore because they can hear a man say, oh man, you just lost all your little self-respect. But are you trying to tell me the dude still kept it for paying for the OnlyFans? You know what I'm saying? Don't don't look at me because I did this on purpose for for a, for a video for everybody to watch. My thing is, you can't come at a woman about her self respect when you just paid to watch somebody get naked. That's that's the lowest of self respect you can even have for yourself. Okay, you can sit here and be like, oh man, but you know, I I did it for the one time because I was just like, oh. Oh man, why? Why did y'all do this? Y'all sat there and fueled that mess because y'all let y'all curiosity push y'all into actually paying for stuff. With that being said, y'all are gonna have to control yourselves, my man. Men gotta control themselves a little bit more. If you like curiosity, you know, without like without even doing like some type of video like this, if you're just doing this because you felt like doing it, 
dog, that's, yeah, no. That was, you let curiosity let you pay for that. And that's, yeah, you're gonna have to give yourself a self, you know, a self neck, you know what I'm saying? How I feel about OnlyFans, like I said, I have another found respect for women for actually deciding, oh, who cares what these men think about our self-respect, but, you know, you guys are actually paying for it, so uh, we're winning regardless. It's almost like they're pimping y'all out. Come on now, don't get it twisted. Women hold grudges regardless if they say they do or don't. Because if they really did, didn't hold grudges, if they really didn't hold grudges, they wouldn't be sitting here pimping y'all on OnlyFans. Come on, come on, let's, we gotta clap it up, my, my people, my brothers. We have to clap it up, we have to. It's, it's borderline genius. Like it's borderline genius that a woman can actually sit there, take take some off, and get tips for that. Dude, that's dope. That is literally dope. You put it in perspective. It's basically Twitch for for adult stars and and women that want to be adult stars but don't want to claim themselves to be adult stars. But you get the idea. And I'm gonna talk about that real quick. Although I do have a newfound respect for women, I don't think they realize what they got themselves into now, people. Look, listen to me. There's some things, you know, that are kind of off limits. Like, for example, if you have an OnlyFans and you have a dude and your dude is going against that, y'all might as well go ahead and break up right now because y'all are going to disagree with that. Unless the woman decides to include the dude and go from there. Like, like honestly. If it, if it means like he's he's helping her out with that, I mean, I guess I don't see anything wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's basically a team effort. <laughs> you feel me? So, I mean, sure. But I think it's just the thought of seeing your woman nude in front of other men who had to pay. But it's like, come on, man. That's like... It's kind of it's kind of like you claiming my body my choice but now all these dudes get to see you and now it's like great now everything just throw it all away you, you feel me all i gotta say for you know for some of you women uh i want you to know something right now 2020 has completely taken over with only fans women women wanted to do only fans oh you guys want to go crazy over me and do this and do that cool you're gonna have to pay for my only fans to see a see a little bit more you, you you feel me you smell me but that's the problem though only fans is almost as big as twitch right now and you want to know the scary thing about it is my women the more y'all do it the less chance y'all got to get famous off of it. And that's the scariest thing about this whole situation. When a site gets more people, take it from TikTokers, when a site gets more people, it starts getting less and less easier to become famous and get a whole bunch of people to do it. And that's scary because think about it. Some of y'all would have had to show off you know, your boobs, your your butt, anything else, just for a little bit of cash, and you wouldn't even have made near a hundred. That's scary. All right, man. All I'm saying is, for all y'all women out there, I'd advise not doing it, but on the other hand, y'all know the drill, my body, my choice, I don't care. Y'all do what y'all want. I'd advise y'all not to do it, especially now, because now, or I can't see, I'm gonna I'm have to like block that out. Y'all ain't gonna hear what I just said, but you know what I'm saying. But that thing that we've been going through this whole entire year, can't say the name. It's, it's basically not stopping jobs from keep, you know, from going on now, which means uh, you can still work other jobs and do whatever without having to do that. But it's like, now if you do it, it was a wasted opportunity. Do you really have a point to do this now? Think about it. All I'm saying is thinking about it. It's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be a weird experience for y'all because I would hate for y'all to show y'all bodies, have people pay, and not even have that many people follow you. Then it would just be pointless. So congratulations to some of y'all. You're probably just put yourself out there for about like 20 bucks but uh 
Just saying, I wanna let them know something to me though. But with that being said, you guys, that is how I became an OnlyFans simp for 30 days. And that's the dark truth about OnlyFans, people. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is probably, this is probably one of my like most like lovable videos, honestly, because I actually, I had, I actually decided to do a little history on it. I actually go back to one of my old videos, actually pay money to actually do this experience. And in the process, I feel like this was actually successful. Like, I really do. I think, I think this is something y'all can like watch and be like, oh, wow. Okay. I never thought about it like that, you know? So, you know, that's all that's here for this video today, man. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends while you're at it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the gaming channel. The gaming channel is going up, people. We're almost at a thousand subs. We're at like 7, 720, 730, near 800. And I just started fully posting on that channel maybe two or three months ago. So, dude, that's going up. I want y'all to subscribe to that channel if you're a diehard football fan, college football fan, gamer, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But until then, you guys, it's the Kids Still City Meach. I'm out.